Hello everyone, my name is Zhang Bokai. I'm from CSS Johnson & Johnson. Today, I'm glad to present our work named SWNet Surgical Workflow Recognition with Deep Convolutional Network at MIDL 2021. Let's get started. Here is the table of contents. Let us share more details about the project's purpose. Video-based automatic surgical workflow recognition is one of the key technologies to build computer-assisted interventional systems for modern operating rooms. Early studies proposed to use CNN and RNN or CNN and MSTCN to solve the problem. For our work, we propose to use deep 3D CNN, MSTCN, and a post-process algorithm to solve the problem. We choose sleeve gastrectomy as the procedure to test our method. Sleeve gastrectomy is used to assist patients with losing excess weight. It can reduce the risk of potentially life-threatening weight-related health problems, including type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and more. Sleeve gastrectomy is split into eight surgical phases, including exploration phase, ligation of short gastric vessels phase, and so on. The parts of the video that did not get annotated were named as not a surgical phase. Those segments are phase transaction segments, and defined phase segments, idle segments, and so on. For our dataset, 461 videos were gathered and annotated, 317 videos for training, 82 for validation, 62 for testing. As shown in the table, we have a very imbalanced dataset due to the duration of the surgical phase varies from each other, and many surgical phases are optional. For the summary of our method for SWNet, we first divide the full surgery video into short video segments and use IPCSN to extract features for each video segment. Then, we combine the segment level features and use MSTCN to achieve initial phase segmentation. Finally, we apply the prior knowledge noise filtering algorithm to the initial results to get the final results. Here are some details of our method. For the feature extraction network, we fine-tune it on our dataset, and we utilize pre-trained ways during fine-tuning. For training MSTCN, we apply the smooth loss to reduce over-segmentation errors. When we develop PKNF to filter the prediction noise, we consider three aspects, including phase order, phase incidence, and phase time. For offline recognition results, different methods are compared, including ResNet LSTM, Techno, Efficient Net MSTCN with or without PKNF, IPCSN LSTM with or without PKNF, and IPCSN MSTCN with or without PKNF. For the test results, we show that IPCSN is a better feature extraction backbone comparing to Efficient Net and ResNet. MSTCN is a better radio action segmentation network comparing to LSTM. Adopting PKNF can reduce noise and improve prediction results. In summary, our SWNet outperforms all other approaches. As shown in the figure on the right, we visualize the prediction results for four test videos. It shows that our SWNet can locate the surgical phase more accurately and identify phase transactions better compared to other methods. For online recognition results, as shown in the table, our IPCSN MSTCN trained with smooth loss significantly outperformed other methods from segmental evaluation metric aspects. As shown in the color visualizations, our method has fewer over segmentation errors and out of order predictions comparing to other approaches. In this paper, we design SWNet for surgical workflow recognition with IPCSN, MSTCN, and PKNF. For both online and offline surgical workflow recognition, our SWNet outperforms several other approaches and can achieve state-of-art results. For future work, we will apply our methods to other procedures for surgical workflow recognition. We will continue to improve SWNet and design better surgical workflow recognition solutions. Thank you, everyone.